Roads and Bridges Network are the primary and basic tools for any sustainable development and other economic benefit for citizens. Vice President for Economic Cluster, Dr. James Wani Iga, said the opening of Freedom Bridge has huge impact in improving of the country economy. I believe it is going to have a very positive economic impact in our country. Uh, most of all, it is going to lessen congestion here. Uh, this bridge was being overcrowded, uh, but this time around, it is going to be really less uh, congested. And this means what in business? It actually means uh, the time is going to be lessened and um, the business people can you can arrive there in time because time actually is money. The governor of Central Equatorial State, Emmanuel Adil Anthony, called on the developmental partners to construct roads a network to link productive areas to local and regional markets. Distinguished guests, I believe that this bridge will be one of the important links to the Trans Africa Highway Network. And for that reason, the bridge will greatly contribute to the economic freedom, not only to South Sudan, but the entire continent of Africa. I therefore appeal to all our development partners who wish to help the people of South Sudan and Rwanda, our country, to accelerate into the development agenda set by our president to emulate what Japan has done in helping the country to develop its infrastructure, particular road network to link areas of production to markets both locally, regional and international. Residents of Lologo and Gumba residential area express their happiness on opening of Freedom Bridge, which they say will improve their daily life. This bridge will pave a way for the development in South Sudan. The citizens and the Republic of South Sudan, and the, as well as the East African community, and the inter, inter, uh, entire uh, continent of Africa will benefit from this gift of the bridge from the Jap Japanese uh, government. Infrastructure is the key to development, and South Sudan called for more infrastructure projects in the country. The Freedom Bridge is expected to improve the movement of goods transport capacity and connectivity, besides linking South Sudan with East African countries. Reporting from Freedom Bridge, I'm John Tabanwani, SSBC.